What's going on everyone? This is Ash and this is Vampire Survivors. We're going to play the adventure of Garlic Paradise. I tried this a few times and I suck at it, so can we survive candy box immediately? It allows you to choose any unlocked base weapon immediately. That's awesome. Okay, so we got peach wings, ebony wings, the cat. Wow, let's do ebony, ebony wings. If we do the birds, if we do all three birds, the evolution and everything, it would make me pretty strong with this character, I think. And it's fun. It's really fun. And playing this game like it's brand new all over again is a good thing. It's a fun thing to do. There's so much I can do right now. So Peach 1, we have it. So we could do level both of those up, get the evolution. It's going to be chaos. It's going to make the computer want to break. And that is a successful run if we can get it to work. So garlic, uh, I should have let it appear, but garlic basically is an AOE around our character. You can see the wings, the, the rings, and the rings do damage whenever someone gets too close, like that bat just died from garlic. Oh, look at this. Boom, boom, boom. That's garlic working right there. Garlic just eliminated all those bats. So many bats. It's so strange playing the first level again on the same account where I've already beat this and I have a hundred percent on this game. But being able to play like a whole different story mode is pretty awesome. And the fact that the developers just kind of released this update and didn't really say much about it. They, they said very little. There's DLC coming out and that one's got way more hype than this little under the radar patch that happened and then here you go here's a whole new gameplay mode and everything with a lot new a lot more content that's probably my favorite thing about vampire survivors is this game kind of just flew under the radar just a small game came out with a very different play style for me like uh, the thing that's always appealed me to this style of game is the unlockables the fact you can get stronger every single time you play and unlock new stuff, pretty awesome. But then again, I'm kind of an achievement hunter with games like this at least. Games are kind of like uh, binge worthy, you could say. Um, I guess I should go get some chicken. That wasn't chicken. It's a worthwhile attempt though. That's what happened to me. I. I used to play this on the Steam Deck. When I first got the Steam Deck, I got this game because I saw it was like $2 or something, $3 when it first came out. And I got kind of obsessed. I better pay attention and not die. Don't kill me. I want the chicken. It was delicious. Yummy, yummy chicken. Doo, 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 doo. I'm just an old man walking here. I got my birds taking a stroll. I smell like garlic. I had some spaghetti. Don't you love the aura of garlic from the garlic bread with the spaghetti? We could do this. We could do a 30 minute run. We could beat this. No problem. Poe po has some good items right now. And that's a five tier chest. Oh, nice. Three ebony upgrades. We need to do some peach one upgrades now. <laughs> Let's get peach one maxed. Uh, more bats. Oh, no, I died. <laughs> no unlocks. That was Poe. So this was just a run and kind of give a look at Vampire Survivors. One of the adventure modes, which is fam uh, Garlic Paradise. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Uh, let me know if you want more Vampire Survivor stuff. I know Unicorn Trekkie is planning on doing some um, Vampire S Survivor content for the new DLC and all that. So make sure you check her out too. But yeah, thank you all for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.